The UT9000 can also be used to locate non-metallic pipes. With various glass fiber rods and sons, a wide range of accessories is available to locate even pipes that are non-conductive. The mechanical stiffness of the glass fiber rod allows the probe to be inserted into the line to be located even under pressure. Sloy systems are available for this purpose. The glass fiber rod has an integrated copper wire which can be energized with the generator UT9012. Thus, the location of a glass fiber rod is in principle a special form of active line location with direct energizing. However, there is one special feature to be considered when locating a glass fiber rod. The end of the rod cannot be determined unambiguously without auxiliary means. To achieve this, nevertheless, sons are used. Different sons are available for different location tasks. Those generate an electromagnetic field themselves and are screwed to the end of the glass fiber rod. This enables a precise determination of the endpoint. I would now like to show you how to locate a plastic pipe using the UT9000. As with active line location in direct mode, one point of the pipe must be known and it must be possible to insert the glass fiber rod into the pipe there. In this example, the pipe was taken out of service and disconnected for locating. Now we prepare the glass fiber rod for use. First we place a brass ball at the tip of the glass fiber rod with the sound of your choice. In our example we use the sound A with a transmission frequency of 51.7 kHz. If you screw the sound onto the tip of the probe and hand tighten it, the sound is automatically switched on. Please confirm whether the sound is active before you insert the glass fiber rod into the pipe. To do so, switch on the receiver UT9000, activate the locating mode sound and select the reception frequency 41.7 kHz. Now point the sword of the UT9000 at the sound and slowly move the receiver to the right and the left. You can now switch off the receiver again. Now insert the glass fiber rod into the pipe. Make sure that the glass fiber rod does not kink. We will now connect the generator UT9012 to the glass fiber rod as already shown for the direct energizing mode. Please take special care not to switch on the generator until all cable connections have been made. Otherwise there is a danger of electric shock. Now connect the set of cable to the UT9012, place the earthing spike and connect the black clamp of the cable set to it. Afterwards remove the red clamp from the set of cable and attach the plug to the glass fiber rod. Switch on the generator UT9012 and proceed in the same way as known when using active locating mode. Mark the located pipe up to the point where the signal is no longer recognizable. Walk back over the pipe from the market endpoint towards the generator. Now switch to the locating mode sound and select the frequency 41.7 kHz. As signal behavior, select the option coordinates. Adjust the gain, hold the thread of the UT9000 parallel to your foot directly above the previously marked route. When approaching the sound, you will hear the acoustic signal of the UT9000 rising. Directly above the sound, the signal is highest and walking on, the signal is decreasing again. Readjust the gain on demand. The end point of the glass fiber rod is located at the point of the highest signal. Mark this point at the surface. You can check the accuracy of the end point determination by rotating the UT9000 for 90 degrees above the position of the sound. Now slowly walk along the route towards the generator until you see a dot with four arrows pointing to it in the receiver display. Mark this auxiliary point of the route. Repeat the procedure into the opposite direction away from the generator. 
again finds a point surrounded by four arrows appearing in the display. Mark this auxiliary point as well. If the position of the sound now is in the middle between the auxiliary points, the determination of the end point is successfully completed. Please note that when locating a glass fiber rod, the measured depth does not correspond to the pipe coverage, but to the height above the pipe bottom, because both the glass fiber rod and the sound rest on the pipe bottom. The UT9000. Easy, always efficient.